chances are when you go to the doctor's office and you get a shot, you don't have to worry about throwing away that used needle and a syringe. You just can't throw it in the trash. So what do you do? Well, what do you do if you're one of those thousands of people who has to self-inject medication? Well, the county has several new drop-off sites for used needles. Here's Jose Villanueva. Okay. I don't know about you, but I hate needles. Just the thought of them makes me cringe. But I guess if you do it enough times, it must get easier. You see, there are people that have to self-inject themselves daily. Yep. But what happens to those needles, or sharps if you want to get technical, that people use? Prior to September 1st of 2008, people who used sharps for medical conditions at home could place those waste sharps in rigid containers and put them in the regular trash. Yep. As of September 1st, that became prohibited in the state of California. Carrie Lynn Merlos from Environmental Health wants the public to know that there's an alternate way of disposing their used needles without an appointment. The Sharps kiosks operate similar to a U.S. mailbox. And dropping off your used needles is as easy as... And that's it. Here's the needle in those pliers. We definitely recommend that you store your sharps in a rigid container. Most of these kiosks are located at sheriff substations around the county. The latest kiosk to be installed resides at the Lakeside Fire Station. We're happy to support that program. It's better to have those needles safely secured than it is to have them loose and in, in the waste stream where other people or kids or whatever can get a hold of them. And it's a service that everyone can appreciate. Now, the Sharps Kiosk Program was funded by a grant from the state. It'll run through March of next year. For more, just go to ctn.org.